Jamie Garcia has been racing bathtubs for over a decade, and he's built more than a reputation. I built my first boat in 2004, 2005, and it's still running. Uh, Carlos O'Brien runs it. Um, and then I built a few. I built uh, three for myself, and the one I'm building now is my fourth one. Jamie, Trevor, and Cody are all building new boats this year, and they're experimenting with a different kind of technology. I'm vacuum infusing, and it's high tech now, and the boats are a lot lighter and a lot nicer. They're not as rough. The fiberglass, when you lay them by hand, it pools, and it oversaturates. So it, uh, when you infuse them, it, the resin and fiberglass only takes enough to wet it. It doesn't take all the excess stuff. It's actually getting lighter by being stronger. So more resin by itself isn't, isn't very strong. It's very brittle, actually. So the more resin you have, it's heavier, and your boat can you know, snap, right? Last year, I broke mine, so I kind of had no choice. I'm stoked. It's uh, riding a lot higher in the water. It handles waves great, it corners great, it grabs the water and goes. Trevor's boat was the first to be finished, and they've been tweaking the process of each boat as they go along. The first one. We did it at a general purpose resin with regular um, fiberglass. And then we did Cody's Kevlar carbon fiber, which is a higher end material, a lot more expensive than your general fiberglass and we infused it with isothalic resin. People will use epoxy with uh, Kevlar and carbon fibers, but I thought I'd try something different because not everybody's gonna go spend $3,000 on materials just to build a boat. Though this is new technology and they could be the first ones using it to build bathtubs, they don't know for sure. I know Nathan Barlow has bagged his boats like vacuum bagged. I don't know if he's infused them. He's never told me. But that's some secrets that are kept, right? Like this construction process, there are some things we're not allowed to show you. There's always little stuff that everybody does not divulge all at once, right? Like they'll help you and get you interested enough and then just keep helping you so you, you can keep up, right? It's a community where like everybody wants to help out, but you know, you won't get all the secrets. You don't have to build your own boat to race. Often secondhand tubs are available. Not everyone has the time to put into building one. We've spent many late nights here. Many hours. Uh, it's probably been four or five nights a week, uh, depending on the time. I think a couple weeks ago I was here every night, probably almost till 10, 12 o'clock. Just the mold alone took us about 96 hours and then laying everything up and cutting everything and then figuring out how to bag and infuse. We read a lot and uh, watch a lot of YouTube. Once the boat is built, then there's the motor and various tweaking and slight changes can add or lose valuable miles per hour in the upcoming 50th annual World Championship bathtub race. You never know what's going to happen out there. That's the, another good thing about any racing sport. And ours, the weather, the, wa the waves, um, they throw everything and every anything at you all at once. It's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, first year going super mod instead of stock. I've owned that my other boat and I finally got it set up that I can keep up with Nathan Barlow and Sean Lamoureux and all those guys. Like, I can keep up with them. So with this boat being a little bit lighter, maybe I can pass them.